going on family hey man listen um this week i've noticed something with our people that i would like to speak on shortly <clears throat> now i know sometimes when i say shortly uh it go long. But a thought came to my mind, and the thought was, let's go live and talk about who are you. Here's the reason why. This week with the team, I asked the team, what do you want? And what I found is that's a hard question for a lot of people to answer. What do you want? <laughs> What do you want out of life? What do you want out of this situation? And many people don't know what they want. Well, I just want whatever it takes. I just want to, hey, whatever needed. Hey, no. What do you want? Man, shoot. Oh, man, man, anything, man. I'm cool with it. What do you want? Man, I don't know, man. I never, I never, I never, I never thought about that before. Some of us are 40 years old, family, 50 years old, 30 some years old. And we never, we never answered the question for ourselves. What do you want for your life? We're looking for job after job after job after job. And we're wondering, why am I unfulfilled? Why am I running in a circle? Why am I running a rat race? Because you're seeking a job. You're seeking just something to make money, but you're not, you're not seeking what do you want? We haven't written down how, how would I like my life to be? If I had a choice, how would I like to, what would I like to do when I wake up in the morning every single day? What do I envision in my head? Many people will say, man, I, man, I really don't know. Because we've been on this journey all of our lives trying to survive. And we haven't thought about living. We've just been surviving. Just trying to make ends meet. Whatever needs to be done, I'll do it because I just need to get these bills paid. But I want to get us to a point of, hey, man, how would you like to live? And I know you strong and you can pick up boxes. I know, sister, you went to school for uh, uh, kinesiology. I know you went to school, sister, for psychology. I know you went to school, brother, for, you know, business. But let me ask you something, brother. What's your gift? What's your gift? Somebody said, I got a beard that I'm not using. Yeah, some of us got a brain that we're not using. I'd rather have a beard that I ain't using than the the brain that I'm not using. What's my gift, man? Damn, I don't know what my gift is, bro. I ain't never thought about that. How many of us don't think about what our gift is? Oh, boy, I sure could. Boy, I sure can cook a, cook a peach cobbler. But what's your gift? Man, I sure could. Man, I sure be kicking them brothers in dominoes. Man, what, what, why do you believe God created you? What do you believe your purpose is as a human being? Man, I don't know. Man, I never really asked myself that question. You see what I'm saying? How many of us, because see, the Bible don't say your strength will make room for you. 
Barbara don't say your degree will make room for you. Barbara don't say uh, your high school diploma will make room for you. It say, listen, your gift will make room for you and bring you among great men. And even if I find the job that I think I've been looking for, I still won't even be fulfilled when I get the money because fulfillment comes from the inside, not the outside. Even if I'm making six or seven figures, if I'm not doing that which fulfills my soul, I'm a depressed nigga with a million. Because life works from the inside out, not necessarily the outside in. See, you fat. Because, and if you fat, I know there are some inner thoughts possibly or maybe a, 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 a unseen diet that has caused this to happen. Majority of the time. Yeah, there's some K where people say they got disease and all that. But majority of the time, what's being fed on the inside causes this thing. Your skin, oh, my skin breaking out and all this here. You think it's just the makeup going to fix it, baby. The makeup... You piling the makeup on there, not going to fix the problem. It may mask the problem, but it ain't going to heal the problem. It got to be healed from the inside out. Yeah, man, I'm I can give myself the steroids. Arms may blow up, but something is going to happen in the future because I'm trying to cheat the process. I got to put the work in and let my body grow. Let the muscles rip from the inside out. How I really live my life. How I live my life. How I treat myself starts from the inner thoughts that I think about myself from within. The energy that you give off starts from. Starts from what I feel about myself and think about myself within. Do you know there are certain people who can feel you? Yeah, they can feel you. When you come around, they can feel like lack of confidence. I can sense it. And honestly, man, it, it, it's sad to see. Like you, you, you know, you notice you ever seen somebody with a gap? This is this is a small example. But have you ever seen somebody with a gap in their mouth and you didn't even really notice they had a gap until you notice every time they laugh, they, they, they just, they did it here. <laughs> yeah, you know, bro. Like when you do that, I can tell the lack of confidence that you have because every time you, you shine away, you trying not to, you making, you making your gap more noticeable by you trying to cover it up every time you don't, you, you trying not to smile. Girl, let that gap show. Go on, let that gap show. We're going to see it anyway. So I can, you know, you can kind of sense the lack of confidence. You can sense the, you know what I'm saying? So like, you can't hide it. You can't hide it. So start on the inside, man. I want us all, man, to ask ourselves, man, what do I want? Here's the reason why. Because you can get what you want. Now, I'm not saying, well, nigga said I can get what I want. Uh, I want making good. I want to marry making good. Come on. Now, be, now be realistic now. Okay? Be realistic, but you can manifest the life. You, you tired of struggling for meals? Man, think about this, man. Man, I want to I wanna, I wanna live life more abundantly. I don't want to worry about having to pay for groceries. I don't want to have to worry about gas. I don't want to have to worry about nothing. I just want whatever I need. I'm blessed with the resources and the tools to be able to make it happen. That's the type of life I want. But see, if you look at us, 
If you look at us, some of us, we, we have manifested the life that we have right now. If you really think about it, we've manifested really. We living in, the, in our thoughts now. Because see, years ago, somebody, you had a thought about what you want. Oh, I just want the bare minute. I just want enough to pay the bill. And look at you now. You're getting just, just enough to pay the bills. Oh, you know, I you know I don't want too much. I just want, you see. And see, there's one thing. Listen, I'm about to go back to the inside out. It's one thing to say, yeah, I want to, I want to do ten thousand, but you only believe you worthy of fifteen hundred in your head. You ain't fool. You ain't fooling yourself. You ain't fooling yourself. Yeah, yeah, I, brother. Yeah, okay, brother. Well, I want five thousand. You being sarcastic, but on the inside, you don't believe it. On the inside, you believe you're only worthy of fifteen hundred. You still gonna manifest fifteen hundred. So what do you want, man? What's your gift? What do you do well? And see, look at your gift this way. Your gift is, you know, some of y'all, uh, you got your mother a gift today. And this gift that you gave, you didn't require no payment for it. Say, here you go, mama. You didn't say, here you go, mama, Nine ninety nine. No, you say, here you go. Here goes your gift for the day. What do you naturally give to the world? No, I don't know why everybody keeps saying add me. It's too many trolls. When y'all get to getting anxious like that, talking about add me, add me, I feel like y'all trolling. So that's the worst thing to do. I'm not adding nobody that keep beg, you know, not begging, but keep asking, add me, bro. Add, when I usually will let you know when I want to ask somebody. No, I, you people, I got too many followers now. Y'all be trolling. Y'all going to come on here and when y'all bring y'all along, y'all going to be doing some crazy stuff. So, no, we ain't doing all that. Not tonight. Maybe another night when I say press one. I go live with people all the time. But 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 most of the time when you give a gift, this gift that you give, you don't require any payment. So what are you what are you giving to the world? What have you been blessed with naturally to give to the world that you don't that you don't necessarily need payment for? See, a lot of us to do certain things because of a payment. See, I I pick up a box and throw it on a truck when I'm in desperate need. And I need payment. Yeah, you, I shovel some cow manure if I got it. You know what I mean? If I'm just die in need, I'd be out there pooper scooper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, supreme pooper scooper. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, yes, sir. Got my overalls on. Supreme pooper scooper. But that ain't what I want to do. That ain't what I want to be. That ain't what that ain't what I really want to be given. You see what I'm saying? So many of y'all. See, you, 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 you're living and you're operating in a space that you really don't want to be in, but you don't mind being there only for the money. So I need you to erase, act like money don't exist. And when you act like money don't exist, now ask yourself, what would you do? Well, man, honestly, you know, I would, man, I'll just be, you know, uh, bringing teams together. Hmm, is that your gift? Well, honestly, me, man, I'll be making videos. Oh, that's your gift. Oh, man, I'd probably be, you know, somewhere, you know, trying to charity, you know what I mean? Non-profit or something. Oh, that's your gift right there. What are you willing to give naturally? That you that you wouldn't require a payment for that you do well. That is of a service to people. That is of a service, a service, a service to people. That brings value to people. Then all you have to do from there is 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 ask yourself, well, how do I monetize it? Because, see, when you're doing something just for money and it don't work the first month, you may quit like some of y'all with crypto. 
like some of y'all done did with Forex, like some of y'all done did with entrepreneurship, whatever the case may be. You just trying something because you saw somebody online be successful and the first week it done work for you. But now nah, this ain't for me. But if it was your gift, you're not going to quit on your gift because you would do that gift whether you got paid or not. So because it's your gift, you're going to do what it takes to make it work. You're going to do what it takes to get the proper knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to make sure that it increases and works out for the greater good. What is your purpose? What was you born to do? I didn't ask you what your mama was born to do. I didn't even ask you what your mama said you was born to do. Your mama don't know. Your daddy don't know. A lot of parents are striving to live through their children because they wasn't able to accomplish something. Yeah, my son going to be an NFL football player. No, you wanted to be an NFL football player. Now you're going to try to make your son that. And low key, if your son don't become that subconsciously, you don't even really like him. Oh, yeah, we ain't going to go there. Some of us right now, you're living a life that you really don't want to live. You live in a life that somebody else wants you to live and you're not happy. You ain't happy. You pretending to be happy. Because you want to please somebody else. You feel guilty because you say, oh, they done sacrificed. They done raised me. They done did all this for me. But you got to understand that that's your life, not their life. And they trying to live their life through you, which is going to cause you to have some resentment. Because what you're going to find. Because what, what you're going to find is that if you live in like that, when they die. It's going to be like, dang, man, they gone. And I'm still living this life that I didn't even choose. So did you choose the life that you're living right now? Did you choose that? Did you choose that? Or am I living a life that somebody else done passed down to me and told me what? my life was going to be like. Now, if it line up with what my gift is and what I naturally do, man, good. But some of us, that ain't what you really want to do. That ain't what you really want to do. And the parents low-key be upset. And, 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 and because you can't hide their energy, the children can sense it. You can sense when you're making a decision, somebody say they happy for you, but they not really happy for you. I support you, anything you do, but they don't really support it. I'm about to block you. I told you. You're going to keep asking. Getting on my nerves. Y'all know what I'm saying. You can feel it. But you got to be willing to love yourself. Enough. You got to be willing to love yourself enough. We, we got to be willing to love ourselves enough to say, no, it's time to live for me. Because we only live once. We only live once. Man, I thought about it one time, and I think about this often. I think about death. Not me, I mean, yeah, me dying, but I think about... I think about death. But not in a negative way, like, oh, you think about death. No, not like that. But but I think about it like, bro, when you gone, ain't no more I'll be back next week. Ain't no I'm going to follow up in a month. Bro, you dead. You, you gone, bro. So, like, we wasting our time on a daily basis 
when fam, when you out of here, you out of here. I mean, I know everybody's spiritual and y'all. I'm talking about physically, bro. You ain't coming back as you. You ain't finna. You, 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 you gone. You spend, you, we waste all this time complaining and we don't want to chase our dream and we scared to chase our dream and we afraid to make decisions. But fam, when you are gone, it ain't no somebody done inspired me three months later. Can't nobody inspire you, fam. You dead and gone. So I never wanted to be like, dang, I sure wish I would have chased that dream. Dang, I sure wish I would have. Uh, uh, uh. Man, I sure wish I would have started that business. And when you gone, bro, it's like being in a stage of sleep forever. Like, I think about that like, bro, that's like being sleep unconscious forever. Forever. Do you know how do you know how crazy that is? To be, you know, like when you sleep, like you don't, I'm talking about the unconsciously, you know, some of us dream or you lucid dream or whatever. You feel like you kind of got some type of control or you can see what's happening in your dream. I'm talking about them dream where you like, boy, I didn't even know I was asleep. Imagine being in that, in that space forever. Ain't no more waking up. It's like, dang, I had so much to accomplish, man. Dang, I had so much more to go. And then you sat here today talking about, man, what's the play? And I sat here and said, man, no. Man, I ain't going to chase that. Man, I ain't going to go fulfill my dream. Man, I'm going to just remain mediocre. I'm going to just remain average. I ain't even going to impact the world. Why am I here then? Just to be a finite material being, just waste space and go back to the earth. No, man, I was given a brain for a reason. I was given a mind for a reason. I was given experiences in my life for a reason so that I could speak about them or create something as a solution so that the next generation after me don't have to go through the same problem again. Or maybe somebody who going through it could easily recover so that we can continue to perfect this thing. I ain't here to just be no mediocre and just exist and die. Throw boxes on the truck and die. Now, if you got your job, I'm not saying... Quit. I'm saying just make sure it's your purpose. Your purpose may be to throw them boxes. I'm just talking about me. Me, I, not me. Man, I man, I see something bigger, man. I'm seeing something greater. I'm seeing something, you know, bigger magnitude. For real, man. Yeah. So what's your gift, man? What's your purpose? What's your gift? And what's your purpose? Think about it, man. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. And then think about this life that I say I want. Have I really been working hard for it? 
Have I really been working hard for it? Have I really did all the things that I know is required for me to be successful in making it happen? Nope. Most of the time. No. Most of the time. No. That book you said, man, I'm going to read that book next week. You, you still ain't read the book. You said, man, I'm going to go ahead and man do that thing I know I'm supposed to do. I'm, man, I got it tomorrow. And you still ain't did it. So a lot of things that we need to do, it don't even be having nothing to do with money. So we can't blame the lack of money. It's the lack of execution. It's the lack of effort. It's the lack of effort. Lack of effort. We murder the messenger of God on a daily basis. Muslims and Christians. The minister says, would you murder the messenger of God? Would you murder the prophets? No, sir. Not me. He said, oh, you murder the messenger of God every day. Every day that we silence the voice of truth from within, we are murdering the messenger of God. We ask God, send me this. We praying every day. When you, you or you praying to the universe, whatever you do, universe, you praying to Mother Nature, to the ancestors, whatever you, whatever you use, and you receive the help, and then you reject the help that has came. You don't probably receive all the knowledge that you were supposed to receive to get us past the condition that we in, but we've been procrastinating on executing the knowledge that has came through human beings because it ain't coming through no ghosts. Sorry, ain't coming through no ghosts. Ain't coming through no spook God. It's coming through a human being. And we have probably crossed paths with those human beings. We have probably crossed paths with the knowledge, wisdom, and guidance that we need, and we still ain't executed on it. But we'll blame somebody else for our own condition. We'll blame somebody else. It's their fault. And all they all is cause no man, it's me. It's me. Man, I had the money. That money that I had, I spent that money. I didn't have to spend that bread. I wasted that money. I didn't have to drink that 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 henny. I didn't have to get that cush. I didn't have to get that car. I had to get them shoes. I was cool with the, I was cool with the shoes I had, but I I chose to get them. I wanted to get them. My Lord Desire took over. I knew good and well I was supposed to get that LLC. I still ain't got my LLC. I heard him talk about it. I heard them talk about a corporation. I heard them talk about taxes. I heard them talk about making money but keeping the money. Yeah, it sound good, but I still ain't did it yet. I still ain't did it. That's on me. I know I heard some guidance before that said, well, man, the best way to keep up with that thing, if you had your business credit card and when you swiping for business, you swipe that credit card. I know, but I still ain't did it. Then every year when taxes come around, I'm confused saying, man, this is too much. But I know a year ago I could have solved this problem. Yeah, I heard him talk about that life insurance. Yeah, yeah, man. I yeah, I'm gonna do it one of these days. And you, we still ain't did it. I spent that money on that iPhone 12. I spent that money on that iPhone X. I wanted the newest and latest and the greatest. I didn't have to get it. I really wasn't ready for it. I really had other priorities. 
But I just wanted to make sure I had the latest iPhone. So just in case a nigga want an iPhone trip, I could pull out my latest phone. Y'all, come on, man. Let's just keep it real now. I ain't have to get them 11s that just came out. Man, but shoot, man. You see that pattern letter? Man, I got to have all the colors. Because if anybody get the, yeah, I want to show them I got all the colors. But I ain't have to get it. I ain't have to get it. It was something else that I, I probably should have invested in. I probably had another priority, but man, shoot, I... Man, hey, man, I'm trying to look clean on them food. So ask ourselves, man, what do we want? Who am I? Who who am I? Who am I? Not what my mama defined me as, my daddy, uncle, granny, friend, teacher define me as. Who am I for real? Why do I believe I was put here on the planet? Why do I believe I was birthed into existence? What work of God am I going to do? Hmm? What is it? What's my mission? See, what's my mission? Your mission ain't just to pump no gas and Ring up no items at the store. That may be a part of your journey. But is that your mission? If that's your mission, so be it. So be it. So be it. And some of us, man. And you know, some of us, we get distracted. Some of us get distracted or 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 because because we don't know what our mission is <clears throat> we 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 distract ourselves ain't nobody else distracted you we distract ourselves we find we find coping mechanisms. We cope. You ever seen a bully? A lot of times that bully man was bullied or abused or talked about bad growing up. You can't make me believe no child comes out of bully. I'm sorry. Especially, I'm, I looked at your childhood picture, boy. You was running around and you was smiling and laughing. You didn't come out mean. Something has happened between your birth process to where you are now that has caused you to act like this. But you faking it. You hiding from something. You hiding from something. You hiding. So some people like a bully, they want to bully other people because they feel some type of way. But they running from their purpose. They running from something. They running from maybe dealing with their trauma. You know, dealing with what they dealing with, man. They, man, shoot, I'm just going to let you know how I feel. Or it's a defensive mechanism where I want to be on the offense of looking big and bad and starting it so that you won't start it with me. Because that's, it's, man, it's, man, the mind is deep, man. Mind deep, man. Mine is deep, boy. So we cope. We cope with it. We cope. I got daddy issues. I got mama issues. Nobody really showed me love growing up. Nobody really showed me attention growing up. So as I get older, I'm going to do things to get attention. And see, they are, see, and, and, and it's hard to admit because it hurt when you really want to think about the real problem. But I'm going to do something to get attention because really I'm, I'm, I'm yearning attention from my childhood. 
Mama never abandoned me. Daddy never abandoned me. Everybody always talked bad about me. Everybody bullied me. Everybody bashed me. So now as I get older, I still need that attention. I still got that void. So now I have turned into a character. Because this character gets me attention. I don't care if I'm negative. I got my attention. I've been looking for though. See, it's something from the past that caused them to be that way. No, we by nature are not evil human beings. We by nature are not murderers. We've been made into that. That's why sometimes, you know, I may block a troll, but I be feeling sorry for trolls. Think about this as a human being. Think about a human being getting up, getting on live and saying and creating a whole profile. Think about this. You don't you don't put in your th- I mean, I really want y'all to go through the process. You don't you don't thought of a name. You don't put in the email. You don't said I'm about to put a fake. You don't Google the fake picture. You don't upload the fake picture. You don't hit enter. You don't follow people. And in your head, you said, this is my troll account. What kind of what what kind of mindset do you have to to be a troll? Something is wrong there. And it's really sad. It's a it's a sad situation. It don't really make me mad. I mean, you can easily block them. I mean, that'll stop that. Even if they got 50 pages, you can always hit two buttons. But I always think in my mind, damn, what are they going through to make them do this? Cause you not you not gonna change. You ain't gonna upset my life. But it's like what something going on with them to make them get on this live, to make them create a whole profile, to make them create a whole troll page and say this type of stuff. Damn, I know they going through it. They going through it in life. It's a it's a whole process you gotta go through to even be a troll. Think like I, I don't know if you ever thought about that, but that's a process you gotta literally sign up. You got to create a whole profile. You got to follow people. You got to get in there, open up the live, comment. That's a lot, bro. Something wrong, something going on with their mind. Yeah, I'm finna get this nigga fired up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to talk about this nigga here. Yeah, watch this right here. Look, look, watch this. Dang, that's all you get up to think about is, 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 is trolling and See how mad you can get somebody else? What's going through your mind to say in your head, I'm finna see how mad I can get him today. I don't even know her, but I'm about to get on her live and see if I can make her upset. What's what's going on in their mind to make them say that for a random person who they don't even know? They hurt on the inside. You got to be hurting to get up and say, I'm finna try to make somebody and hurt somebody who I don't know. You don't know that sister. You don't know that brother who you trolling. You just say, yeah, nigga. Nigga got a lot of followers. Yeah. Yeah, it's showtime today. Showtime. Got him. Man, man, that's sick, man. That's man, that's psychological. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know what to call it, but that's psychological, man. It's psychological. But that's the coping mechanism. Oh, I'm hurting. So if I can make him get mad, the more I make him get mad, I laugh at that. (laughs) Ha 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 ha. I got him. You see, I got him mad at me. (laughs) Ha ha ha. That's making, they think that they think that's making them feel better. And it may for a little bit. It may for a little bit. It may make them laugh. It may make them, you know, laugh. But they're going to go right back to they shrink it. They're going to go right back to their lifestyle. That 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 made them even think about creating a whole troll page in the first place. Real talk. That's real, man. So listen, may Allah bless all the trolls. May Allah bless y'all with, with whatever you're going through, man. Uh, cause I know it hurt, man. I know it hurt. And see, some people, they don't know how to just ask for help. Some of us don't know how to ask for help. Like, man, listen, bro. I, man, I don't get it. I don't get no whole lot of attention, man. You know, I really, you know, uh, 
me not really having a father really hurt me, man. It really, it, 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 it really tampered with my life. That's the, that's, that's what the real, that's what the real thing is. And you ain't no gangster, man. You want to, you want to shoot everybody? Really? You just, re you just ready to shoot everybody? Come on, man. Come on, you, come on, that ain't you. That ain't your nature, man. That ain't, that ain't you. You didn't, you didn't, you wasn't born just cold, stone cold killer. You weren't coming out the womb talking about, nigga, I want all the smoke. You, you smiling. You trying to get fed. You want some candy, bubble gum. You trying to watch cartoon. Now you, now you a stone cold killer. Now you just. Yeah, you just bust a nigga open. You that ain't that ain't who you really are. That ain't who you really are. That's who you portray to be. But deep down inside, that ain't who you really want to be. That ain't who you really are, man. You've been made other than yourself. You've been made. Other than yourself. Because if you really had the choice, you will be different. You will be different than a mug. You want love like a mug. You really want a hug. But now, you've been faking for so long. You, you know, you, 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 you know, you've been... Playing a character for so long that you look in the mirror and say, well, is that really me? You start believing that you're the character now. Now, when somebody try to show you love, you reject it. Now, I don't want no love, nigga. Love? Huh? Nigga, stab me. You, you, don't need, you want them to stab you versus to hug you. You really want a hug, man. You want you a good hug, man. You want somebody to say, man, I love you, boy. You ain't never heard that. You ain't heard that all your life. So now you have said in your mind, nigga, I don't need no love from nobody. I don't need no love from nobody. Nigga, I don't need your love because now you, 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 you've learned, which could be, I mean, I get it. You have learned to... Now you've learned to, you know, num it's numb. You numb now. Now I don't need no love. Love, I don't need no love. I ain't, I don't, I ain't had love all my life. And see, sometimes it'll, sometimes it'll come out. You gotta listen. You gotta listen closely. Sometimes it'll come out, nigga. I don't need no love. I ain't had love all my life. See that that second part. That was the that was the sensitive part. They they mentioned. I ain't had love all my life. That was a that was a part of them that really hurt. That was the hurt piece, man. I ain't had love all my life. That was the part that you were supposed to listen to, like, oh, there it is. He telling you what I'm telling you. That's what it is. That's what it is right there. That's what it is. Yeah, I don't need no daddy. Nigga, 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 nigga wasn't there when I was little. Oh, there it is. There it is. He wanted a father when he was little. There it go. I heard it. I hear you. You got to be with it. You got to be able to hear him without hearing them. Because, see, they don't know how to express it. They never had nobody to express it to. And when you never have anybody to express it to, it comes out in different forms. Some form may be. You always fighting. Why you always you just you just get you just fight. You just like to fight. No, if you just like to fight or no, you should have been in boxing. But see, something is coming out. See that that void that you're communicating through now actions. You're communicating now through acting out. You see what I'm saying? It's coming out now. You've been balling it up. You don't know who to vent to. You don't know who to talk to. Now it's, it's, it it got to come out. But something wrong with him. Not wrong with him. He missing something. She missing something. She needs something.
Yeah. And then look, it's hard. It's hard because when somebody do finally see you, you're like, dang, do you, but do you really see me? See? Because when you've been growing up and you ain't been heard all your life, when somebody say, I hear you, I feel you, it, you, you afraid to let them, you afraid to let them help you because you like, but do you hear me? See, you, because you can't believe that anybody ever heard, will hear you because you haven't been heard all your life. So even when somebody is trying to help you, you kind of reject it and they got to show you all numerous, numerous times for you to even believe them before you allow them to help you. See, this is why, you know, when certain people talk about murder rates and all this, see, you don't you don't take into into uh, account a lot of these children grew up in environments that were toxic. So it's, it, it ain't that ain't nobody trying to save the youth, ain't nobody trying to stop the violence. No, you don't realize it's a whole lot that got to be done for them to even trust you and you doing the right thing you're trying to tell them you're trying to give them an opportunity but they're rejecting it because they're not used to anybody helping them so they have to they have to repel they have to they're they're, they're rejecting but really on the inside they want to accept it but it's a, it's a wall there. They got that wall right there that done been built over these years that you 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 got to you they're going to make you jump over that wall. They're going to make you bust through the wall. So meaning there's work that is a lot of work that has to be done, consistent work that has to be done in order to get over that wall, man, and get through to them. Sisters and brothers. Yeah. You know how I know some of this, y'all? Cause I had I had somebody. I had somebody uh I had somebody in my comments one day. And they was going in, right? So I said, I surprised them. I said, man, let's go live. You know what he said? He said, man, I just, I just was trying to get your attention. I said, look at that. He was saying certain things to get me to respond. So when I said, let's go live, he said, oh, man, I just, I just really was trying to get you to go live with me. <laughs> Man, it's amazing though. But let me tell y'all something, bro. Uh, let me tell y'all something, man. Find your gift. Because what it says is your gift will make room for you, man. Your gift, your gift, your gift will make room for you. Find your gift, man. What is your gift? What is that thing that you do well, man? And stick to it. Stay persistent. And stick to it. With that being said, I might let a... Y'all want to go live? Press 1 if you want to go live. Press 1 if you want to go live. Let's go live. Press one if you want to go live. If you want to go live. Oh. I was born by the river. Yo, what's good with you, bro? What's happening? Hey, my name is Legalized Kane, bro. I'm pushed up. I am dope, bro. Um, 
I, I always be on your last, bro, for years, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, because I, I, even though I rap, like, I'm a rapper that, like, if you check check my page out, bro, the stuff that I stand up for, um, salute to the family, uh, Michaela Miller. I want y'all to stay strong. Like, I really be in, in tune with stuff like that. So I like to see younger black men, you know, talk that talk. And, you know, like, so that shit dope, bro. Like, for real, though, bro. But if I could get on here and just, it, it, you know, do some talent for you, bro, that'd be dope. But you're going to see why I want to rap for you, bro. You're going to see why. Man, what, man, let's let's hear it, man. Let's 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 hear it. I bet. I'm going to do something to this. Uh, you remember that old song that It Takes Two? Uh, no, nah, I don't recall right now. All right, but I did a joint, man. Tennis beat is an old beat. It was a request, but I decided to put like a twist on it because of like the matters that's been happening. So you will see. Here we go. Yeah. Look. Huh. Look. Yo. Listen. How I feel? Fuck a cop out loud. Tell them put their guns down. We can box right now. What happened to Sasha Blaine? But they popped my ground. Fuck Millen. If they had to kill George on the... So many brothers in the box right now. Ain't no victim to the killers, it's the cops right now. The Paul McDonald got 60 shots right now. And they kill Cass Hill, beat the case like, wow, yo. It's been happening, no cap and words to spread happen. But pick his ass and pick his time and get it cracking. Financial action is dangerous, we pocket tapping. How the fuck we minorities when we built the masses? My process is Nat Turner, get rid of masses. Fuck the 4th of July, they only fire crackers. When you busting on the scene, I know they hired actors. Fake news and for who say the clock is. Y'all get the bitch after 450 years. Prison system moving blacks like a chain mail. Y'all said we can't breathe or exhale. Made it harder to see or exhale. They only gave us hoop dreams, a double X seal. They magazines is full of hate, so don't be out late. You know the sun downtown, where the sun go down. They can legally kill, so bet no niggas be round. Places really exist, they in the stalls of town. Fuck burning the hood, it's gonna tear shit down. 5% know the truth will try to help you out. 10% know the truth will still put you down. 85 don't know shit, they just dumb and blind. But if you rock with them, you won't be left behind. And it'll hurt you that you see them taking life from you. It's the daily Missouri, they took the white woman. Yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah, okay, I hear but... you with them lessons now. I hear you. I hear yeah, you. bro, um, all my music is not directly like that, but coming from where I come from, I put, like, my pain in my music, so I do got other music that is not, like, all my music is art and pain. So I'm always speaking on the injustice in our neighborhood. I'm always speaking on, even, even now, I rap about how I said one of my biggest downfalls was selling coke and I knew I wouldn't use it. So honestly, it's just like, I feel like I just don't want the younger people to be misled by us because a lot of these people that rap that type of shit, if you ask them these questions one-on-one, -on -one, like, how y'all feel about game banging and drug dealing? They'll tell you straight up, like, hell no, I think that shit goofy as hell. But they persuade younger people that it's cool and I think that it's fake. So I just want to be inspiration to show this that you ain't got to lie. Like, you could be you, come outside, be confident, to talk your shit. And you ain't got to flex with nobody. Because in this world right now that we live in, social media is one of the biggest tools for freedom. Because we don't have to go to a label and the label sign off what we rap about, what we do, the type of crowd we bring in. We can bring in our own crowd and we can do what we want to do. And that's the difference. So I just want to persuade you to, hey, do what y'all want to If y'all want to rap like that, that's cool. I ain't judging nobody. But it's, all, it's another light to it. You feel me? So. I appreciate that, that, that you for song, that. That song right there, do you have that recorded anywhere? No, it's not recorded, bro. I did a 30-day um freestyle challenge where I let all my supporters send me a beat. And then so for 30 days straight, 31 exactly, I did a different freestyle. Every, and that's one of my wrote. I did that like overnight. So it is posted on my page. If y'all want to go see that freestyle again, it's posted on my page. But also I just dropped a single called Only Fans. It's not what people think. Once again, it's just the thought process of why females choose to make those type of decisions in their life. And I'm not knocking them. It's more a song based on understanding. So um, if y'all want to go check that out, the link is in my bio, bro. And I appreciate I appreciate you for letting me do what I do, bro. Uh, is somebody in the comments, he read man's, his name, The Real Majesty. So if you want to get your man read, bro, it's crazy. Like, he going to blow you away, bro, like for real. But his name, The Real Majesty, bro. So... Salute I'm to on. you, bro. All right, bring them on. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you, bro. I've been following you. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Support 100, bro. For real, bro. Peace. Man, y'all hear that 5%, 10%, 85%? Yeah. He called me when he said that. The 10% blood suckers of the poor.
85% are the dumb, deaf, and blind, poison animal eaters. Still waiting on a mystery, God. The 5% is just trying to help you out. Give you the reality of God. The real majesty. Let's see. He said he'd do magic. And read you out. Hey man, what's up? Man, what's going on? All right, so let me let me show you some uh the magic that I do is called mentalism. It's magic <laughs> for the mind. He says what's you that? read read your minds too? Yeah, it's like mind reading magic. Okay, let's let's see what you got. All right, so I want you to think about somebody's name that you want me to guess. And when you have that person's name, say okay. Okay. All right, just look at me. So look, I'm going to seal this away. I wrote my prediction. And I want you to keep your mind or keep your eyes on this envelope. So I already wrote it down. And let's see if I got this right. Tell everybody in this live, who were you thinking about? Farrakhan. Farrakhan. Now listen, I tell everybody the same thing. Please don't judge my spelling, okay? You said Farrakhan. Yeah. And please tell your people that we didn't meet. Like, we didn't set anything up, okay? Yeah. Because <laughs> they're going to accuse you, but look. No way. No way. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> so that that's one crazy. trick. All right, so listen. All right, all right, all right. Now listen. Do, am I, do I get a second chance? I can show you my second trick. Okay. Dang, that's all crazy. Right. <laughs> so this time, I want you to think about... Mm, a number, one through 100, random. All right, got it. Okay, don't say it just yet. I want you to say it when you see my phone, okay? So I'm, I just flipped the camera. You can say it now. 95. Because now you can see my phone. You said 95. I'm going to go to my notes because I have a whole bunch of celebrities in here. You could have picked Michael Jackson, Mariah Carey, but let's go all the way down. You said 95? Yeah. Who's, who's at 95? Comedian Godfrey. So look. This is your Instagram right here. It's one o'clock. And I sent you Godfrey almost 10 minutes ago before you added me to your live. Hold on. Hold on. I'm about to get my iPad. Where's my iPad? <laughs> Give me one second. <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. Hold on, bro. I'm about to get my iPad out. Yo. What's his name? What's your name on here? The Real Majesty. Majesty with an I, not with a Y. The Real Majesty. Bro, he really did. <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. What the heck? <laughs> bro, bro, you are an angel. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that. The funny thing is, I see that, you know, Godfrey, he be going on live. I was trying to get added a couple of times, but, you know, I would love to read his mind, too. Bro, this is some crazy stuff. So, so, dang, that's crazy. So you can only do the mind. So you can only do like the name thing the first time. Um, usually I, I like to do it once, but I always tell people I can always come back. Um, so yeah, if you want me to come back, I can always come back. I see people in the comments; they were asking what's my name. You can click up at the top where it says "Who are you," and then both of our names will come down. Bro, that's some crazy stuff, bro. Yeah, let me just. He really? I swear, I do not know this dude at all. I promise. We we just met today. 
this dude really sent me a DM 10 minutes ago. God, so what's the lot of yeah, numbers? <laughs> well, yeah, man, just, uh, man, I, man, come back, man, if you can do it again. Definitely. Um, Listen, if you go back live um, another time, I want to, <coughs> I got allergies, not Corona, but I want you to have your iPad with you because okay. I could do something with that next time. All right, cool. All right. Um, is this a talent show, by the way? Uh, I mean, it, it just whatever you want to do going live. Oh, okay, because I do. Um, I have a friend who's uh like a singer, so I'll see if he wants to come. Uh, just in case he does show up, can you look out for his name? This is how it shaking Shake. the world, shaking right. the world. So All right. I'll go ask if he if he wants to come. But thank you so much for adding me, and peace out. Peace, bro. Bro, that's that's some of the liveest stuff I've ever seen in my life, bro. I thought he was about to do some magic, because I do magic, too. A lot of people don't know that's a hidden gift I got. But I do it with, like, cards. Like, this is some, this is some next level stuff I've never experienced, bro. This dude really DM me Godfrey, bro. Bro, this is so crazy. Bro, this is some crazy stuff, bro. And you know what's crazy? I had another name at first in my head, and I switched it. The first, I had a first thought, then I switched it. Like, the first, it was a name that came to my mind. Then it switched, bro. And I said, he, I'm, a, I'm, I'm I, I said, Farrakhan. And bro, he spelled Farrakhan. Then I picked 95 because first number I thought about was 95 because I was thinking about the Mid Man Mark. So I'm like, all right, 95. He ain't gonna pick 95. And this this brother done sent me Godfrey, bro. Man, I'm trying to man, listen, ain't no trick to that. That's just bro, ain't no trick to that, bro. Like, that ain't no trick. That ain't no Slide a hand that ain't no the hand quicker than the eye. That's some this is some this is some real deal. This some real deal stuff right here, bro. <laughs> bro, that's crazy. That's a gift. He got a gift. Listen, I'll pay him for that. Low key, I man shoot. I'll pay for that. Just to be entertained. I don't even need no lotto numbers. I'm really just amazed at the power of the mind. That's some live stuff, bro. That's some live stuff. Bro, that's live. But now I got to have him do that to Jake. I mean, I got to have him do that to the whole team, bro. Bro, that's live. That's crazy. Bro, that is crazy. <laughs> Man, that's some crazy stuff, dude. Boy, you couldn't even lie to this little brother here, boy. He gonna be like, hey, did you eat my cookies? He gonna be like, check your iPad. I saw the picture. He gonna, he gonna have a picture of you eating the cookies on your iPad in your DM. Man, he gonna say, did you eat my cookies? You gonna be like, no, I ain't eat no cookies. I saw you at 1053. <laughs> Man, that's a, bro, that's some crazy stuff, bro. That's loud, though. But hey, man, that goes to show. The power of the human being. I just made a video about that. The power of the human being, bro. Then y'all, y'all, who was on my live? Yes, this is just yesterday. This is this is just yesterday. All right, but so everybody that see the pink comment, go there and say and shake the world. We're gonna try to first freestyle. He probably he probably did that freestyle over there. Oh, he, he loud. But, um, oh, Brother Ben is over here. Hey, I'm on two different pages. What's good, bro? I'm supposed to be going to your live. <laughs> well, come on, come on. Come on to the live. Yeah, he's in my live right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I he's ready. Tell yeah, him. Bro, I'm about to come to your live right now. All right, come on to my live. Yeah, I'm about to come to you right now. I know you. 
Man, I thought there was some more magic. I thought when I went to his live, I was going to see him speaking about my life or something. Man, I, man, this is, man, y'all got me going crazy tonight, man. I'm finna, I'm about to have a dream tonight. Man, there's some crazy stuff here, man. I'm check, hey, I'm low key checking my iPad. I'm swiping up my iPad. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm swiping up my iPad thinking he done asked some more tricks in there, man. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what else he about to reveal. Man, this is, man, this is some stuff here, man. God, dog. The human being is a... Man. Man, y'all got to go back on the live and see what happened, bro. Hey, what's going on? What's good, man? That's everything. Man, Blacktastic, man. Blacktastic, that's the thing. No kizzy. Yeah. Hey, so, so, so he did that? He done did that on you before? Yeah, it's really crazy. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Really dope. Nah, shout out to Majesty. He's a really dope dude. But um, let me introduce myself, brother man. My name is Shaking the World. Shaking no G because I am the damn G. I am a rapper, a singer, a guitarist, and a poet. Um, I'm just having this whole stand. Like, like everything you see right now is new. So I'm just seeing how it goes. Um, I'm going to do a freestyle for you. And then... Um, if you want to hear something else, I could probably do like a poem for you if you want. Okay. All right, boom. You can hear the beat, right? Yeah, we can hear it. Cool. Make sure I hear all the power in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Shaking the World. Um, Love and Pepper Freestyle. Got thousands of views. We put it on YouTube. Let's get it. Look. Uh, just to get out of bed is the hardest struggle. Cause after I get up, man, I still struggle Had to always hustle And these girls that I love never love me But love when we always cuddle Love is always subtle Even when there's cookie crumbs, I still want the crumbles Yeah, my stomach grumbles When I ring a phone I don't want it to be phony Just wanted to take the ring like we a married couple Know that I find someone like you I just take a Dell, best believe I'm the farthest thing from Miguel, but you a sure thing. You can get that, never gotta sweat that. Fall back, game so strong, I had to kick back. Black people see the vision more, they counter moves, ain't a counteract, it's a cataract. They don't have to see how you niggas act, they can feel that you niggas whack before a pandemic. No, I really mass it well, and if you never next, nigga, I won't even tell. It's funny how most of my bars is on a cell. No provider can ever tell me the plan. A woman says she loves a man in tune with his feelings. So here it is, I really hope that you listening. Me and my parents been out of it for months, which is why in July I got high from the jump. I want to be my brother's keeper. But since he's engaged to a keeper, he about to keep her than keep me. And that's so many years trying to bond deep. Yeah, it hurts deep. Yeah, it cuts deep. Ever get it called because they really going through it like you ain't going through it? And advice that you give, man, he barely use it. Like how you barely use it? But tell yourself, get a grip before you really lose it. And I don't want to lose it. So I do this music. Yeah, I do this music. Because it gets me through it. So dear music, if you hear me, I want you to know that I love you. Yeah, that's that Drake beat. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, that. What 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 beat what beat was that? That was the lemon pepper. Yeah, that lemon pepper. That that lemon pepper salt. Yes, yeah, sir. How long you been rapping? Um, I've been like actively rapping for like maybe a year or two, like performing it in front of people. But like, I'll always write bars here and there. Like I started doing poetry before I started rapping as do well. You got, do you got some stuff like on iTunes and all that? iTunes, not yet, but I have things on YouTube and on SoundCloud and um, yeah, for right now. And then on my IG, like I'm, I'm about to put a whole storm of things that I do out very soon. Just so I'm just okay. getting things finished and it's going to be out there. So. Cool. All right, let's do the uh let's let's do the poem. Yes, sir. All right. Um, so this poem is called the Cartoon Piece. Um this poem was uh inspired by waking up Saturday morning and um you get your favorite bowl of cereal and you just watch your favorite cartoons, you know what I mean? So it goes like this. <clears throat> I said, Hold up, Jack. I'm a samurai. See, you better jet, son, because I'm about to fly. 
So duck, no daffy, roll runner, can't catch me in the streets of my game. Little Scooby moves, we shaggy. Not too shabby. It took me courage to use this. I'm not cowardly, dog. Blue Clues been on this blueprint, but y'all again is a movement. We give Oscar and Oscar and Blue Dora out the casa. Dead ass. I'm tired of Dora. Stay swiping with Swiper. I quiet as always goes one on one with Lizzie McGuire. Always getting stitched up with Lilo. Adventure time. Now we finding Nemo. Growing up, I thought Caillou went through chemo. Code name Kid Door Shoes Facts, my guy. I'm not gonna lie, you should have a crush on number five because she's sexy. Feeling like I'm all that with Amanda. Man, with all these cosmos, I wonder. All of my haters are saying Dinkelberg. Me and my vocab against word girls beyond superb. Subs that Sonic. Speed so Sonic, but why you dragging tails? See, it's Knuckles is gonna overshadow tails. I wish, I wish, with all my heart, that Darkwing Duck would just come out the dark but Donald. Since I'm the author, I'll write DW. Cause I'm dreaming my girl's powers to pop. She could blossom with bubbles and be my buttercup. It was a whole new world with Jasmine, no Aladdin. Accepting my skin tone and living color acting. To get to that bedrock, I had to bam, bam, pebbles. And the class of 3000, I'm mm. out. My boo boo bears me like I'm Yogi living sweets and sweets of the life of Zach and Cody. I sit calm. For sitcoms, my cartoons full of cartoons. That's that network. So I hope you guys network. That is my piece, man. Hey, that Bam Bam Pebbles uh, 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 off the Fruity Loose, Fred Flintstone song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I caught that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, man, I appreciate you, man, coming on. It looks yes. like they like it in the comment section. Yo. It, it was an honor, like I'm on live. I was about to go to your live, and then I saw you come in. I was like, "Yo, this man came in my live!" Like, salute, dog. Yes, sir, man. Well, I appreciate it. And said before I go, uh, there's two people in the live that are amazing. You have a singer. Her name is Shanti Official. She's hella dope, Shanti Official. And then there's another singer named Ronte Sings. Okay. Yeah. So they're definitely going give you that talent man and have a wonderful night bro yes sir likewise all uh, right <clears throat> yeah i need we need some singers in here yeah we need some singers we need some singers i want to hear somebody sing with us man this dude this mad man i'm man i ain't gonna lie man i really want to get the magic man back on here man that was some crazy i ain't never you know what's so crazy about it though Cause I used to watch David Blaine and Chris Angel. Like I like when I say I used to be into magic, like I was really into magic. <clears throat> so I know a lot of tricks, but like this ain't no trick. Like this ain't no this ain't that type of magic, bro. This is some crazy. This is some this is some next level type of stuff. <laughs> God dog, man. I'm I'm really amazed by that, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm really amazed by that. When he said check your DM, that's man, that's what did it for me. God, dog, that's some crazy stuff, man. Y'all missed it, man. If y'all missed that little piece right there, y'all missed it. Man, I'm perplexed like a mug. All right, let me see if we can get somebody here that can sing. Yeah, we need some singers on here. God, dog, man, that man. Hey, what's up? <laughs> MRT, you crazy. What's going on? Hey, not much, not much. Um, I go by the name Ronte Sings. I'm a singer songwriter um from Ohio. How you doing tonight? Man, black task. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, let me turn what this you, on. What you gonna sing for us tonight? Um, I'm gonna sing um I Can't Make You Love Me by Bonnie Ray. Most people say by Tank. Oh yeah. Yeah. But um I'm a huh? It was originally by made by somebody else? Oh uh, yeah, it was originally made by Bonnie Ray. Okay, go ahead. Let's let's hear. It. Yep. All right. Tell me if you can hear it or not. Turn down the lights. Turn 
down the bed Turn down these voices inside my head Lay down with me Tell me no lies Just hold me close Don't play actually finna release a song on um june the first my first single i'm ever actually going to put out is it going to be a cover or is it going to be uh, uh uh your own beat uh it's going to be my own beat okay okay man where can i follow you to, to hear more of your singing yeah yeah uh ron tay sings up there there it is yep. y'all and i appreciate you coming on yeah thank you thank you so much uh yeah um sh- there's one more um there's one more person in here uh shanti official yeah <laughs> a whole bunch of people but shanti official somebody was telling me to tap in shanti official and so if you see shanti official please add her okay all right thank you so much bye i ain't gonna lie to y'all can i be honest with y'all the magic brother he got me thinking every time somebody come on they finna do something magical. See, he shouldn't have went first. Now every time I somebody come on, I'm thinking they finna reveal something about my life that I didn't know. So I be trying to listen. I be trying to listen in to see if they gonna <laughs> say. I'm like, man, this boy, this is some. And they got a whole team. So I'm thinking the team, you know what I mean, putting the magic on me. You know, they got people lined up. I'm like, man, shoot, y'all done. He done messed my whole head up, man. My whole head messed up. Man, I'm feeling, man, you know what? I'm about to listen to that tank though. Cause that tank, uh, I used to listen to that song. Hey, tank, tank song that mother. You gotta sing that, but tank song that mother. Yeah. You got tank brought the soul to it, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Look at look how tank come in. Turn down the bend, turn down these horses inside my head, lay down with me, tell me no lies, just hold me close, convention night. Look, he said, look, look how he said that. He gonna say it one more time. Then he say, Cause I can't make you. Man, that, that tank, that tank. All right, here we go. Let's bring in, uh, <clears throat> check out Shante. Man, y'all got y'all a whole team. Now, I know y'all done went and, and said, hey, everybody go tag. Y'all ain't got to do that. I'm going I'm to I'm tap them in. I'm going to tap them right in. I'm about to tap. I'm about to tap in. All right, let me see. Shante the Fisher. Hold on. Give me a second. Don't patronize. Uh, let's see, uh, Shantae. 
Y'all tagging her, but she got to say it so I can bring her in, though. Okay, there it is. All right, there we go. Oh, my bad. Hey. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Nothing. Um, I was like, I got a movie finna come on? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, my camera goes blurry a lot, so I'll be having to wipe it. Okay. Uh. Okay, what what song are you singing for us tonight? Um, It's my song that I just dropped. I wanted to show you it. Um, It's called Vibe by... My artist name is Just Shanti, by the way. Let me introduce myself. So my name is Ashanti. My artist name is Just Shanti. Um, I'm 20 years old. I'm from California, but I live in Vegas. And yeah. Okay, let's hear it. What's it? What's the song called? Bye. Bye. Okay. Can you hear this? Oh my body, yeah. Hey, body. Oh my body, yeah. I need. I'm just a vibe or two, come spend one night with you. This is what we vibe to, this is what we vibe to. Come and spend one night or two. Ooh, I'm just chillin', baby. You know I'm feeling crazy. Ooh, I just won't be so lazy. And I was feeling you, it's been so real with you. You know I'm vibing, boo. Come and spend one night or two. Let me spend the night with you. You just so kissing, baby. You just been moving lately, got me feeling oh so crazy. Maybe I can, maybe I can, maybe I can, even if we stay, even if we play, I could get a little naughty, baby, we can do it all day, baby, if you caress my body, got me feeling so naughty, baby, I could be sorry, no, you could feel my body, no, I'm just feeling naughty, I'm just feeling naughty, Yeah, oh baby, you spend the night with me. I'm just feeling you. I just wanted to. I'm just feeling you. Know you feel it too, cause I'll be vibing at you too. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you see. Tell me what it be, cause baby. Yeah. Oh, I need you. Please come by with Oh, yes, I need you. But yeah, it's my song called Vibe. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's a that's a smooth jam there. No, that's 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 just smooth now. Uh it, do you got it out on uh, any platforms yet? Yeah, it's I'm sorry, your comments got me laughing so hard, but <laughs> um yeah, it's out on all platforms, so is the music video and um Yeah. <laughs> so it's called so so what does somebody search to uh find it? Just type in vibe with you or just vibe? Vibe by Just Shanti. So you type in Just Shanti and then type in vibe. Just Shanti. Okay, there it is. I see it. There it is, y'all. Thanks so funny. <laughs> there it is, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, that's that old school soul we've been missing. See, we've we, we been missing that soul music. You bringing it back. No, honestly, I'm just giving vibes. You know, so so y'all got, so got y'all a whole little team, huh? You the, the Magic Brother and all. Y'all got y'all a little team, the, the team y'all got. Yeah, I can see you, man, Majesty. But yeah, I can say we like a little group. <laughs> Now, where are y'all from the same city? No. Okay, yeah. so how y'all meet? Instagram, live, yeah. just like this. Really? Yep. Been collaborating? Yep. That's what's up, man. I got to put something together, man. Y'all got some talent. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Well, thank you guys for adding me. Um, That song is out on all platforms, and I appreciate you for letting me come on your platform to, you know, put out my little vibes and stuff. Indeed. All right. Peace. All right. Bye. God, dog. Man, they got a whole little team. Look at how social media bringing the people together. Yeah, he the magic brother, man. I know he got a, I got a, you know, 
you know, I'm gonna put your brother on uh, the real majesty, but I'm gonna shoot, man. That's the magic brother, man. And see, ain't no, ain't nobody doing real magic like that. See the magic. See, I know how to do magic too. Now look, watch this. Give me, give me some cards. See, I, see, I do something like this here. You see, you see it now. Now it's gone. You see what I'm saying? I used to do that type of magic. See, it ain't even in my hand no more. But no, <laughs> no, that brother, that he did some. Yeah, that brother did some God stuff. He did some. He done tapped into the force and power. Yeah, he done tapped all the way into it. She, see, I done seen somebody say, I don't have a team, but are you willing to build a team? See, they done built a team on social media. And you see how they support each other? Hey, man, thank you for sharing. Hey, can you tap in my friend coming up behind me? Then they go get the other team members and they had them tagging them in the comment section. Hey, Tag this, tag this, tag this. So now it's putting on my mind, oh, man, I got to tag them. Then once they get done, hey, before I go out of here, man, I got another friend that do so. You see, that's what you call group economics. See, that's the youth coming together, helping each other, building each other up. See, but us, we, no, yeah, it's all about me, yeah. You see how I got all them views? I ain't finna pass it to my brother. See how they pass it to one another? They, you know what I mean? They helping one another, tagging one another. That's what that's what unity looks like. See that now the youth, man. I'm telling you, our generation cold, man. I man, our generation gonna get this thing together. See, listen, let me show you. The, the, here goes the this. Here goes the psychology. See, you come in and you blow their mind with the magic. Now my mind blown. See, now if they didn't do this on purpose, I'm finna give y'all some game. Now if y'all didn't do this and if y'all didn't do this in this specific order, I'm giving you the blueprint now. Y'all should go to these different people's lives, okay? Let the magic brother, I mean, I am majesty. I don't know if he okay with magic, but I like the magic brother. Have him go first. Have him blow the person mind. Now the person mind is open now. The, 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 the person who live, he like, man, what in the world did I just get myself into? So now you, you say, hey, man, I, it's, more, it's more to come. So then you say, hey, I got a friend who also does such and such and so and so. So when they come on, he's thinking, okay, what well, they got, man, they got a special skill too. But they just rapping. Not saying they're rapping not a good skill, but they rapping, they singing, doing their thing. And this is how the promotion is going. Then before they get off, they say, hey, before I go, can you get such and so and so on? Now, because in his mind, he's thinking, is they, they going to give me that effect that I had? And this is how you get it. You understand me? That's how you do it, man. Y'all need to line up, man. Y'all need a show. Y'all need an IG show where y'all do that on multiple platforms. What y'all did tonight, y'all need to be doing that on all pages. Let him go first. Hey, pick a number between one and ten. Blow his mind. Boom. Damn, brother, how you know that? Hey, man, you know, maybe I can come back on live. But before I come back on live, I got some people that I would like for you to. Oh, that'll be cold, man. Just give me, Just give me two percent. Just give me 2%. Oh, just give me 2%. If y'all done had that together already, give me 2%. But I'm giving y'all the blueprint, man. I'm telling you, man, I, I'll fall for it again. I'll do it all over again. Y'all want to do it tonight? Do, give me. Let me pick another number, and we can do the whole thing over again. Y'all can pick a whole another song, go through a whole new lineup. I just want to do the number thing and the name thing again. <laughs> the, I want to do the name thing again, man. That was crazy, man. I'm gonna pick now if he if he let me go again, I'm gonna pick somebody. You know what? You know what? If he come on again, if he come on again and he gets and he gets this next number, this 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 next name, I do I donate to him. I donate to him. Somebody said they're gonna call the cops. Man, you can't call the cops because they doing because they doing the show, man. How are you going to call the cops because they doing the show? <laughs> hey, man, I'm amazed like a mug, man. I'm amazed like a mug. Hey, man, he get, he, man, listen, he get it this time. He gets it this time. We're going we gonna to donate to him. He said, I need my money. Man, you're not the magic man. You're not the magic man. You got you to gotta guess the number, man. I ain't donating to just know anybody. 
I got a scam for a page. Man, listen, <clears throat> let me tell y'all something, man. You must done got scammed by one of them pages. For the 50,000th time, I would never inbox nobody and say y'all won a prize. I would never inbox nobody and say, hey, inbox me, cash out me. You done been scammed by another page. I can almost guarantee you, if you pull up the inbox right now, Matter of fact, let me pull up your name. If you go pull up your inbox, I'll pull up my inbox. Let me look up your name. I want I want to show y'all. Let me show y'all. Because y'all ain't paying attention. They got people spelling my name wrong. Let me see if I can see your name. Your name is Loco. I want to do this live just in front of everybody so don't so people I done already did a live warning y'all about this. But it seemed like y'all don't ask me no questions. Y'all just automatically assume I I that that I done scammed y'all. So since y'all don't want to believe me when I continue to say that there are person uh, impersonations, I'm about to do this live. Your name is M. Manek. Yeah, like I don't even know how, I, don't, I don't even know who you are to even scam you. But let's we're gonna do this live. Man, Mac. What is his name? Makanaki. Makanaki. His name not even coming up. Mecca. Mechanica. Ma. Macana. Macanaki. Macanaki. All right, check this out. Here go his page, right? And let's go into the DM and see if I'm the one who he's talking to. No messages. So obviously it wasn't my page. Now, if you go to your DM right now, you're going to see if you go to my, my DM or your DM, you're going to see that it's from another. And your, those messages probably still going to be there, but it's not. So if y'all go to my Instagram, if y'all go to my Instagram and look at my IGTV, you will see. That I just did a lie. No, pain in it. No, not that one, bro. No, bro, not that one. Scam. Not a... Now, now listen. I, you know, I don't have time to continue to go live and update y'all about this. Some of this stuff, y'all kind of, y'all gotta do your do. 19 keys page say pay us in crypto that's not us if we ever move to that we will announce it anyways the point is i don't already announced that it's several pages being made let me just show you something else live if you type in brother ben x on instagram let me see type in brother ben x on instagram y'all look at how many brother ben x pages come up look at all these fake pages of brother ben x can y'all see all these fake pages Fake pages are being made on a daily basis. As I've said, look at this page right here. Look, Vancha, Lastari, Moms. Yeah, they don't even, they don't even, even try to hide it no more. Look at all these fake names. Look at all these fake pages. Look at all these fake pages. So as I said before, let's look at this one right here. Tiny URL. Let's look at what the scam is. When you click it, welcome to Brother Ben X Society. Congratulations. Claim your $10,000. All of these are scams. So once again, if it is not coming from Brother Ben X, it is not me. Some of them don't even be having no, no pictures on there and people fall for it. I ain't, listen, I don't have nothing for you if if it's from a scam page. Again, I won't ask nobody for no $5,000. My digital real estate program is only available under BWO, so I don't even sell digital real estate by itself. So if anybody sold something real estate by itself, it definitely wasn't me. I don't sell real estate. I sell the digital real estate program, which is only available under BWO. 
So if you if if anybody came, don't come trying to cuss me out on the live because it wasn't me. Now I done did my due diligence trying to tell y'all over and over and over and over and over and over and over. But always once a month, somebody, nigga, you don't scam me, nigga. Nigga pay the nigga pay up, nigga. I'm calling the police on you, nigga. I'm calling the FBI. And I'm like, bro, what? And I'd be like, what are you talking about? Nigga, you done scam me. You pay me back. I'm calling the fire department. Nigga, you're a fraud. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I done had people that done inbox me. Look, this you. And I would circle the top. I say, bro, if you look at the how the name is spelled, that says BR0. That's not even my name, fam. If you go to my DM, I only I'm not even messing you. Then they be like, oh dang, my bad. But that you done already cussed me out. You done already tried to go off on me. You done already said you're gonna call the police. <laughs> so y'all gotta do your own due diligence before y'all, man, get get mad, man. I try to do my part by letting y'all know. Somebody get the magic brother back in here, man. I am majesty, man. Tell him I'm willing to, I'm willing to donate. Tell him I'm willing to donate. Tonight. Tell him I'm willing to donate tonight, man, if this brother get it again. Y'all tag I am majesty. Tell him, man, come on back in. Tell him, come on back in. Okay. Angie. <laughs> okay, we got Ange, Ange music. Now, I wonder if Ange music is a part of the Ange music. Now, I'm going to need y'all to get the, I'm going to need y'all to get, get the magic brother back in. Yeah, I bet your magic brother know who scammed you. It wasn't Brother Ben X. Like, just be honest, man. I don't need no no $32. I don't have time to be inboxing a 1,000 people today trying to scam y'all for $32. I don't have people say, yeah, you took $32. Bro, I don't need no $32. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing black tastic. All right, now. Now, yes, are you, now. Are you a part of their team? I'm not a part of the team, but I have supporters in here, you can see. Okay, okay. What you uh, so do you sing or do you rap poetry? I sing and I beatbox. Okay, you which one are you gonna start with? The beatbox or the poetry? I mean the, the singing. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the beatbox and I'm gonna sing over the top of it. Cause I have a um my recorder right here. So, okay. So I'm start with the I'll make the beat, I'm gonna make a guitar. Um another guitar, a few guitars and a bass, and then I'll sing lead over the top of it, all right? Okay, let's This let's... is um, just a little cover of um, a little short piece of uh, Peaches, Justin Bieber's Peaches. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> Yeah, 
I'll be right here with you till the end of time. That was nice. That was nice right That's it. So do you have a whole page doing stuff like that? I do. Actually, all of my music is like that. I have original music as well. Um, it's just more complicated to do on live. But all of my music is like that. There are no instruments in my music. And um, when you listen to it, you'll go, oh, that's a string. No, it's really me making a string sound or a flute sound or a drum sound or whatever. So yeah, you can hear it in my, um, on my profile. Huh? Let me see if I can pull your name up. A-N-N-G. Yeah. On Spotify, my latest single is um, Blast Off. Yeah, I was just trying to make sure you did your content like that. I'm glad you do. That's cool that you actually yeah, record yeah, it like that. Yeah, you can see the videos with yeah me doing all the different voices. I layer the videos, so yeah, it's me singing with myself on a lot of the videos. So, so well, I thank you for tapping in. Thank you for sharing your platform with me. You have a good one. All right, thanks, y'all. And we got some talented people in here today. She came in that mug and said. Boom! Man, I might be able to. I might shoot. I might start doing that. I'm making mouth beats. And got the singing like a mug on there. Man, bro, we got some talented people. Talented people, man. Talented. Well, we talented. This is a page right here. A N N G music. You know what? We coming out with ABS music. We just need to we we need to sign we need to sign her. We need to bring all them under ABS music. That's what we just need to do. Bring them all under ABS music. We're gonna put a team behind y'all. We're gonna put a team behind you. We're gonna put some content behind you. I can't even apologize. If I don't. Yeah, man, we just gotta put. We just gotta do the ABS music, man. That's all. We just gonna have to. We gonna have to come out with our own label. That's what we gonna have to do. Because I know. You know, it's funny though. We really are. We really are doing that though. Uh, because of a couple of editors that that's on our team, and videographers actually are into music. You know, and I do music every now and again too. So, man, we might need to start sound signing some people, man. Man, we got some talented people. And we need to sign the Magic Brother. Have him open up all shows. He still ain't tap back in. I know he ain't went to sleep, man. Dang, he done went to sleep. Man, y'all don't put the brother to sleep, man. We got to get him back in, man. I got, man, I got to have that experience. You know what I mean? Because it's in my head. I'm like, man, did he guess that? But I know he didn't guess it, man. It, man ain't no way he could have did that, man. But I... But I still want to get that one more in, man. I still want that one more time. Because I got some different names for him, man. He gets this name right here, man. He, man, he he the real deal. Well, he already the real deal. I mean, I, I believe him, man. Shoot, the proof is in the pudding. But, man, that was just dope, man. Get your brother back in here, man. Tell him, tell him we if he get it right this time, we donate. We donate to the cause. I bet you it do cost a lot of energy. I bet you do. I like the way you said cost a lot of energy. I like the way you put that cost. It probably did take a lot of energy. You know how, you know, now look at this. Think about this. Think about, think about the energy that y'all are saying that it took him to do that, which I, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it did take a lot of energy, right? Now think about the energy that somebody has to put in to really resurrect somebody from the dead, mentally and spiritually. Think about the energy we have to put in to get somebody for, uh, 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 from thinking that they're nothing, thinking that they're nobodies, to get them to understand that they are somebody and to begin to wake up and thrive for their own life. 
think about the mental energy that you know has to go in to do that type of stuff to get somebody to teach somebody about how to transform from a job nine to five mindset to an entrepreneur do for self legacy generational wealth mindset that's a lot of energy that goes into that man that's crazy So I wonder if the Chicago brother was a part of that team. Because the Chicago brothers who introduced me to the brother right there, he came on and did his thing. Now, I read somebody said, I read somebody that said that he did this on Empress AK, but that was the artist. I wonder if, I wonder if the magic, the, the I Am Majesty did that as well. Let's see if I can find one of her lives. I don't think she saved her lives, though. So now, never mind. She don't save her lives. But man, man, that's amazing. Now I just need somebody else to come on and do some magic. We didn't heard the singing. Singing is great. The uh, rapping was amazing. But uh, now I want to get back to the. I want. I want somebody else to uh, do the do the do the tricks. Anybody else do magic tricks? Anybody else guessing numbers, man? That's man, that's some crazy stuff there, bro. I didn't know where he was going with that when I put my phone up. You just say the number. And bro, he went down to Godfrey and he and he DM me Godfrey, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Like, you know what makes it so crazy? Is the fact that he could have easily said, like, if he was, you know, aware of enough of me. I could have said, well, the only reason he picked 95 is because I said Farrakhan. Maybe it was a lucky lucky guess. But he sent me the Godfrey before he even came on the live. That's what blew me away. I'm like, dang, he couldn't even, even if he could put two and two together, he had already sent me the DM before he asked me the first question. Man, that's a that's powerful stuff right there, boy. <laughs> that's powerful, man. He probably sitting back watching this from another page, like, man. He probably sitting back. He calculating. He ain't sleep, man. That brother ain't sleep. I know he ain't when he young, man. I ain't look at him. He young. It ain't number twelve or something. He's sitting at the he's sitting there watching through another profile. Like, man, look at him, man. I did my thing tonight, didn't I? They probably on the group chat talking about, man, you did your, you did a good job. No, you did pretty good. No, you opened us up. No, you did a good Man, they sitting back watching this thing. doing They they recapping, eating pizza. Recapping. They ain't sleep, man. I know us, man. We, man, they up. They is not sleep. They, they, they on the group chat talking about how they going to do their next marketing. I, I mean, they're smart now. They, man, they got a cold team. But, hey, man, I just need y'all to come back one time, man. <laughs> they celebrating like a mug. We got another one, guy. We did a great job. They just came home from a show. <laughs> man, I'm, man, I'm trying to put y'all, man, I'm trying to elevate the team. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to elevate. I'm trying to donate to you. You miss what happened? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Uh, he on live? All right, let me see. Let me see. I'm about to try to find him. Okay, they say he on live. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, you got how many followers back then? He only got like 36. On me. Oh, they, see, I told what you all they was meeting. I told you got how many followers? I did. Your majesty, followers went up quick though, because wasn't majesty, wasn't you just like three? Told you they meet, they meeting about yeah. what, what happened tonight. And yeah, like when he get when he ended up getting four to five K or something. When he ended up getting to four to five K. I get it. No. Well, this is a cold no. team right here, boy. Watch out. No, let's go quick. I should have just stayed home because I would have probably hit seventh grade by now, but I couldn't even hit it that's quick. I don't want to die. Well, this is a cold team. Look at him strategize. Look, look, Magic Man. No, I'm watching him. He finna, he finna yeah, get a, he finna get a thought. In. I don't know. I got like 400 from that. That was crazy. Told y'all. Didn't I tell y'all I know us? 
I I told y'all I know our people. I knew they were strategizing. Now, I got magic now. I got magic now. Didn't I tell y'all they somewhere strategizing about what happened tonight? And lo and behold, this is exactly what they doing. Now, I, now I got the magic. Now, I got magic. I told y'all I know us. I said, man, they not sleep. I know black people. Now, I may not know magic, but I know black people. I knew, I already knew what they were doing. I'm really not saying that comment, but why he said he was poisoning the virus? Look, 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 he's watching. His copyrights got violated when he put it on his little shack and put it on his phone. <laughs> Somebody, when they were watching, look. This on uh, the Donnie Hathaway for all we know, song, they, they, whatever that is. <laughs> they watching, look. <laughs> Hey, come on back, Magic Man. We waiting on you. Come on, Magic Man. We're going to donate. If you get it right again, we're going to donate to you. Yo, Ben, I told you I'm going to join you live like tomorrow or later this week. We're going to do something else. Make sure you have your iPad. <laughs> oh, yo. All right, yo, shut up to this man. Yo, bro, you on my live, bro. Can you do me a favor? Follow me, please. I have another talent show. I'll, I'll come back. Wait, well, uh, what are you telling Trey finna do? <laughs> Brother Ben, he's on live. I'm like, I'm watching his live right now. <laughs> how many viewers he got? Follow me, bro. Didn't you sing for him? Are you talking about how motivational we were in the team and that was people? Yeah, we we are talking for him. Well, you you liked it. Well, I saw fan win. Dang, my man don't that? even remember he sung for me. Look at. Someone said, "Why didn't master my name on IG live?" <laughs> My man don't forgot. He, wait, what? Wait, what's me on that live second? My man at the bottom Brother don't forgot. Benio. We don't went live with me. Brother, when was that? The magic man that zapped his memory. Thank you, Kristen. <clears throat> then you go. Oh, you talking about the last five those minutes before we got on here? Yeah. Oh. Uh, memories that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, bro, I was gonna go bug another person tonight with my singing. <laughs> Don't say it like that. You, you, you're blessing them. Not you. No, like coming back for the second time, even though I'll be safe for them. <laughs> oh. Just not knowing that I just sang for them. I'm gonna let them get their mastermind on. I'm gonna leave them alone. Let them get their mastermind on. He said he gonna be. He said he gonna be back sometime this week. So y'all, y'all get your pens and paper together. Uh, God willing, he'll be back this week, man. See what, see what he can do for us. My man say, "What live? We sung on what live?" My man done, man, my man at the bottom done, done sung so hard he done forgot he done sung live. I said, "God, dog." He said, "What live you talking about?" <laughs> Golly. I love it though, man. I love it. I love it, man. That's the man. That's what that's that's what that's what we need right there. Young people using their talents. And then they said the sister said they collaborated and met online. That's huge, man. That's good. That's good stuff, man. I hope they keep that up, man. They got some they got some talent over there, man. They continue to cultivate it, develop it. I see success in the future. That's good, man. That's good for them. <laughs> but didn't I tell y'all though? Didn't I tell y'all? I told y'all. I said, no, they not sleep. Nah, you can't make me believe they sleep. I said they somewhere collaborating, talking about what they did tonight, and then somebody said they lie right now, and boom, there it is, doing exactly what I said. He must have shared some of the wisdom with me. Yeah, I, I, that was the guy that let me know, boy. I, now, now, son, you got a little magic in you too now. <laughs> now, but they got a fire team though. That was fire. That was that was cold. That was cold. All right, somebody said add Prince Ayadi. Who is that? Now, <clears throat> these people 
these people have to come at themselves. So like when y'all be tagging them, like I see y'all tagging them, but I can't, I can't bring them on when y'all tag them. They they have to tag them. They have to comment themselves. Then I click on their comment. So when y'all say add somebody, they have to comment add me so I can add them. So like whoever Prince Ayandi, oh there you go. Oh that's a that's a brother. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. Now, <clears throat> okay, Zenny said it ain't for. Okay, I'm gonna get you, Zenny. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see your. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Ramadan Mubarak, my brother. Ramadan Kareem. Hey man, did you see the magic? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> man, what it, man? Hey man, Master Father Muhammad, I'm blessed him with it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, um, you gonna rap or you gonna what you go what you got for us? So I write poetry. Okay. Um so it's I uh, it's something like that. <laughs> um so I I have two that I had in mind. I'm not I'm not the magician brother, so I'm not gonna I'm not doing nothing like that, but um I do like interaction with people. So decide whether you want to hear a poem number one. Or poem number two. That's all. No magic behind it. I promise. <laughs> number two. Number two. Okay. That's one of my favorite poems. <laughs> the poem is called When I See God. So. When I see God. It usually catches me off guard. I'm never looking for him when I do. Never hear his footsteps fast enough to cover my nudity. I think he enjoys my embarrassment. It always catches me off guard, seeing his expressions and finding familiarity. The trauma of self-creation over unquantifiable periods of time dancing in his eyes, but never without a conviction in his demeanor. Sometimes I catch myself staring too hard and forget I'm only a mortal. I think he enjoys my embarrassment. I see his expressions and keep finding home, knowing I have a father already, and my father is a son, and my mother was God to me from birth, and I've cradled her face on mine into maturity, which must make her in some way immortal. See, when I look at God, Brother Ben, it's always in the mirror. His light, the undertone to my complexion. My features validated to be blessings. I used to be embarrassed to claim it for fear. I wasn't enough. He enjoyed proving me wrong. Then he showed me that you, in fact, are my mirror. And that's that piece. Man, that was fire. That was deep, man. That was deep, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Salam. Welcome, so Salam. That was deep. That's deep right there, y'all. Boy, I'm getting big, boy. I've been working out, boy. Big on, on getting big. Bet now, now, listen. Any, any other cartoon person draw me, and don't add muscles. I'm, I'm blocking you. Next, next cartoonist. That draw me and don't and don't add muscles to me, I'm blocking you. You ain't finna keep add you know having me looking like I'm skinny man. Oh, no, nah, I got muscles. Y'all just don't be seeing the muscles up under my jacket. So next cartoonist, draw me, and you don't add muscles, I'm blocking. <laughs> you getting blocked. You getting banned. <laughs> mm hmm All right, let's get all right, come on, Zenny. Zenny. Now Zenny, you gotta come on with it now. Hey. Hey. <laughs> now you're gonna have to you ignore all my comments. <laughs> which now which do you sing? Yes, I do. Okay, what you gonna sing? I'm going to sing Round Midnight by Jasmine Sullivan, even though it's 2 o'clock in the morning. 
<laughs> well, come on. I don't want to hear no excuse. Your voice tired. And I'm not tired. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can um hold the camera up like this. All right. It begins to tell around midnight. Midnight, midnight, midnight. I do pretty well till after sun down, down, down. Supper time I feel. Links have been links it, but it really gets better around midnight. Mm -hmm. Memories always start around midnight, midnight. I haven't got the love to stand those memories to my understanding. The sweet of dawn, the sweet of dawn, the sweet of dawn. Da 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 da. Ooh, midnight, midnight comes around. Ba da 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 da. <laughs> I got kind of nervous at the end, but yeah, that was it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I see my friend in there. Hey, Brittany. Hey. Hey. <laughs> well, thank you for yeah, joining. Yeah, that was it. That was all. All right. <laughs> all right. Blue say, man, I like all of them. It is one o'clock in the morning, man. I need to get off this live, man. I got to get off this thing, man. <clears throat> I'll holler at y'all next time. I'll holler at y'all next time, okay? I'm going to say this live, and uh, y'all just go rewatch it if y'all want to see what happened earlier. Y'all have a black-tastic day, y'all. Peace.